and welcome to Tea Time with Bev. All right, so I want to go ahead and introduce you to my friend, Jennifer. Hi, guys. All right, and for today, um, we're going to go ahead and talk about a very serious and important topic called human trafficking. I don't know if any of you have heard of human trafficking or even have experience in that, but um, just to give you um, a quick definition of what it is, this is a definition that I found online. So, human trafficking is an illegal movement typically for the purposes of forced labor or commercial sexual exploitation. So traffickers will use force, fraud, coercion to lure um, their victims and force them into labor or force them into commercial sexual exploitation. So that is what human trafficking is. But for today, we're just gonna focus on sex trafficking and not labor trafficking so um jen do you have anything to share about this topic uh, just the fact that you know it is a global um issue it's a public health issue and so for the most part um it's really interesting that each country um has like a different spin yes. on it you have some you know that are forced into it you have some women who go into it um, you know, based upon their free will, and so it's, it's a really broad thing, and you know, today we just want to bring some knowledge, some light to yes. you um, regarding, you know, what is going on. Oh, yes, definitely, and like Jen said, it's something that is global, it happens everywhere, everywhere. Um, you know, there are some people who don't really have a lot of knowledge of this, or feel like this doesn't really affect me, you know, or it has nothing to do with me. But I just wanted to let you know that it could happen to somebody who you know, or it can happen to anybody, you know. Um, traffickers don't target people just based on certain things. They look for people um, who either have run away, people who are in need, let's say they're homeless, they don't have anything, or they're in need of income and they will use that need against them to try to force them into um, trafficking. So that is how serious this is. So anybody can fall, um, anybody can become a victim of sex trafficking. And I just wanted to also share with you that um, uh, I was watching some documentaries about sex trafficking and it's very interesting like how huge this is but there's not a, enough attention to it like I feel like um, there's not enough attention given to um, sex trafficking mm -hmm. um, and a documentary that I watch uh, was actually a 13 year old who got involved and she became a victim she met an older guy who was in his uh, 20s and um, he told her he really liked her and wanted to start dating her and according to her he was a very handsome man so she was flattered that he would show attention to her so she started dating him and then eventually led to him forcing her and threatening her um, to go have sex with older men and she uh, in the uh, documentary said that she would have sex with uh, four to five men a day at 13 year old and it the worst part of it is that she was sleeping with men who were in their 40s in their 50s men who are old enough to be her father that's how sickening this is you know and um, the lady who actually did the documentary she um, went undercover she went undercover as a 17 year old because um, apparently there are certain websites that um, the pimps would go on there to sell the young girls who are, you know, the victims. So um, she actually um, pretended to be a 17 year old young girl and it was shocking the amount of calls that she received. Um, in the video, um, when she was talking to these men, she clearly stated, you know, I'm a 17 year old. Sometimes she'll say I'm a 14 year old. And um, these men did not care. They did not care that it wasn't, um, it was a child. They just wanted to have sex with her. And there were men who were willing to pay a lot of money just to do this and in the documentary I think she was um, talking to somebody who was in like a, 
in a high position. But when I mean a high position, somebody who, um, if any um, scandal came out from the situation, it can ruin his image. So that's how high of a position he was in. And he was willing to pay her $35,000 to sleep with her. But of course, this was just, she was just undercover, so they never really went through with it. But it just um, goes to throw light into how serious this is. Yeah. So, um, I've, I've watched a lot of other documentary, and it's not just in the United States that this is happening. It's happening in other countries as well. Yeah, um, for the most part. You know, there's so many um, personal stories, and I know of a young lady that actually the way she got involved was she had a boyfriend back in high school mm -hmm. and you know they would get high together they would drink together and the boyfriend would start to encourage her to sleep with others so mm -hmm. that they can have money you know to support their habit and you know somewhere down the line she ended up with a, a, a you know trafficker or whatnot mm -hmm. um, but for the most part that individual slit her throat and left her for you know dead and by the grace of God, she survived. Mm -hmm. um, but through that whole situation, you know, she was able to come out of it, go back to school, you know, um, obtain her degree in social work, and go back into the field to help and support women, you know, who are going through it. And another thing I wanted to add with that story is the fact that she comes from a prominent family. Wow. So a lot of times there's a lot of stigma associated with sex trafficking. You know, we tend to think that it's just this thing of standing out on the corner and it's no longer that. Um, her situation, she had a dad that was an attorney. So wow. for the most part, you just it can happen to anyone. Wow. Oh wow, yeah. It can happen to anybody. So in other words, also be careful who you trust. Be careful who you allow in your close circle of friends, who you share information with, because um, based on the research that I was doing, um, Traffickers could be at your workplace, at your school. You don't know who is involved. Mm -hmm. And they would tell you anything. Mm -hmm. So let's say somebody who's a trafficker gets close to you and know that you are in a financial bind. Mm -hmm. You need money. They can say, oh, you know what? Um, this is what I'm doing to make a lot of money. So if you get involved, you'll get this, this, and that. And you'll be so blindsided by the fact that you're going to get money that you don't see the reality or the, uh, the whole picture until you're involved and it is too late. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very, very, very careful mm -hmm. about that. I also wanted to share that um, when we talk about traffickers, it's not only males. Mm -hmm. There's females that also do it. Yeah. Um, I had a situation where I was in a workplace and you know there was another young lady that befriended me. Um, and she studied me for the most part, and I only know that because of the conversations that we would have. But, you know, um, somewhere down the line, I was able to find out that she was indeed involved in it. And so her sole role was to try to recruit other women into it. So, you know, just know that it's not always a male that is coming after, yeah. you know, a victim. Um, sometimes they will have women that they're, you know, um, you know, having, you know, do these things, but they'll send these women into the workplaces, they'll send these women into the schools to recruit. Mm -hmm. So just be mindful of that. Yeah, be very mindful of that. And another thing too I wanted to share is that um, I know online dating is very popular now, but just be very wise and cautious when you go on these sites, these dating sites, um, because not everybody who says they are this type of person is telling the truth. Some people can be lying. Um, some people can be trying to um, get you into sex trafficking, mm -hmm. trying to use you. And they will um, use fraud to get innocent mm -hmm. people involved in this. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna share um, something, uh, an experience that happened with my cousin actually. Um, and she's back home in Ghana. And she went on this dating site and she met an older man online. And he, according to him, he lives in Brazil. And uh, he was telling her that he wants her to come over to Brazil to come live there with him. He has a big house. She won't have to work. He will give her, he, he'll pretty much provide her with anything that she wants. You know, he's gonna marry her, all this stuff. And whatever it is that he was saying, it was working because it convinced my cousin to literally want to move to Brazil 
thankfully she has said she we communicate so she sent me a picture like this is the guy I look at the picture and I'm like you in your 20s this man looks like he's in his 50s <laughs> early 60s why would he want to have anything to do with you you know so I pretty much share with her about sex trafficking and what could happen if she gets involved in it either she's gonna be forced into labor where she'll be working against her own will and the money that she's even working for she's not even gonna get any percentage of it the, the whoever it is that the trafficker will get all of the money or even worse she could uh, be forced to sell her body you know and the same thing goes she's not gonna get any part of the money the pimp will take everything so I told her and she was surprised like I'm like yeah I, these sort of things happen a lot not everybody who you meet online is who they say they are sometimes it could be a trafficker trying to lure you into this um, trade mm -hmm. so you have to be very very careful so I told her to cut ties with him not to communicate with him not to get involved and not to go anywhere with him because first of all you don't even know anyone in Brazil if anything is to happen to you, you don't have any family, you don't have any friends, who are you going to go to? And this happens to a lot of women, or even men out there, where um, they're forced, they could be in their own country, they meet somebody in another, in another country, and they will promise them this and that, they will leave and go there, and it's not what it is. It's a whole totally different ball game. So please, please be careful. Um, educate yourself about this topic. It is very, very serious. Um, just try your best um, to learn as much about this topic. Um, if you know anybody um, who is in this situation, or if you yourself um, are in a situation where there are red flags that could be targeting to this party, like, okay, this person, who is around me, this person might be trying to lure me into this trade. And you go the other way. Flee. As I always say, flee. Mm -hmm. When you see the red flag, go the other way. Do you have anything to add to that, Jen? Yeah, I would say knowledge is power. Yes. Um, you know, for the most part, I work for a not-for-profit, which I will not name. Um, however, we, you know, do a lot of work um, around human trafficking and we work with different victims. And the thing is, you know, like when we go out and promote the programs and the services, we'll hear a lot of people tell us they don't really care to know um, anything about it because it doesn't apply to them. Mm -hmm. And there's such a stigma associated with it. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. only share that to say, you never know, you may have a family a family member, you may have a friend, you may have a classmate, mm -hmm. you may even have a neighbor or just a complete stranger that you yeah. run across in the grocery store that you notice and pick up on different signs. So knowledge is power yeah. because the more knowledge that you carry, um, you can also help, you know, be of support to someone else. Yes, yes. And another thing too is um, what Jen and I were talking about earlier is be careful um, what you watch on TV. Because uh, we're talking about how um, there's some women who, um, after watching a movie like, for example, Pretty Woman, mm -hmm. where the lady in the movie, she was a prostitute. Mm -hmm. And through that, she met this guy and they fell in love and then they got married. That doesn't always happen in reality. You know, you have to be able to differentiate between reality and what the media portrays, okay? Because just because it happened to her doesn't mean it's going to happen to you. Okay, you could, um, and sometimes the media could portray certain things in light, in like you know, like the light side of it. But there's a dark side of this issue also. It's a, it's a very dark and sickening situation. And I also go ahead and put some resources in the description box, so check it out. Um, if you are currently um, being forced into sex trafficking and you need help, um, contact the number down below or uh, seek help in any way you can okay seek help in any way I can't imagine living in fear having somebody to control what you do um, how you live your life it's not fair it's not right at all and I would just add even if you cannot remember like the numbers and the resources you know just try to remember 911 <laughs> call 911 and they can definitely connect you to the resources that you, yeah. know, you need Yep. And for those out there too who, you know, you don't have any experience of this, 
don't be um, deluded. Yeah, don't be deluded into thinking that, you know, you, I'm good. Like Jen shared earlier, somebody from a very prominent family got involved in this. So it can happen to anybody. Just be careful out there. Be careful who you trust, who you talk to, who you get close to, okay? Um, I just wanted to share this incident real quick that sometimes it could be a family member. This is just to advise you. Um, uh, there was an article that I read and this um, particular lady got involved, but she tried to sell her own niece to a pimp for money. And thankfully, um, the person that she was selling the, um, her niece to turned out to be a police officer undercover, so they arrested her. But imagine if she never got arrested. And this child, because mind you, this child was just seven years old. Seven years old. And her own aunt was trying to sell her to a pimp for, you know, to sleep with. So be careful out there. And um, that's what the knowledge that we want to leave with you for this video. Yeah. Jen, do you want to share anything before? Um, I would just say, you know, um, scripture tells us, you know, to ask for wisdom. Yes. So if we ask God for wisdom, he will you know, bless us with that, you know, the wisdom and discernment that we need to, you know, determine, you know, what path to take. Mm -hmm. So, um, just make sure that your brain are asking God to, yes. you know, instill that in you. Yes. Yes. All right. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, we both, we know we have very little knowledge about this um, topic. It is um, very serious and it's even more than what we are sharing with you right now. But um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. Or if you want to share with us um, any information about this topic that could help someone else, please do so. Um, if you like this uh, video, click the like button. And also thank you so much for watching and enjoy your day. Have a blast.